Hey everyone, welcome to Front of the Depths. I'm Menti, and this is episode 123 of the Battleship Brawl Season 5 Tournament. This episode, well, first of all, a bit of news. The Monochromatic Extermination got 12 votes to the Curses 4, which with the the uh, vote points in, that means the Monochromatic wins 60 to 40. So uh, the vote swung it in favor of the Monochromatic, even though it uh, lost as far as combat score was concerned. But in this episode, we've got the Zinvoshar by M. Serzin. M. M Ser I, I, pfft, trying to pronounce it properly, but I I screwed it up. I know I did. I'm moving on. Sorry. <laughs> Versus the New Hampshire by Faram 4. All right. So here we go. Round one underway. We'll see how these two battleshipy battleships do against one another. I think they're both... Uh, quad gun triple they're triple girded quad gun ships or does the another new name press three turrets yeah they're both three turrets with four guns similar amount of remaining materials for repairs so yeah rather similar in design I mean not in in looks but you know what I mean probably don't because that was really vague but I only got like five and a half hours of sleep last night so you have to excuse me <laughs> Ooh, that hit right to the turret ring knocked out a good chunk of the weapons on this why is the game running so badly why it's running so choppy. I don't remember either of these ships causing much in the way of lag before. Anyway. Zinvashar at 94% and Hampshire at 98.3. So far, things are going in New Hampshire's favor. That volley was not well aimed. Missed the New Hampshire. out of video yesterday I, uh, I I've got no excuse other than uh, I've been playing a lot of Civ 6 and yesterday kind of disappeared <laughs> up the clock and it's like oh well shit <laughs> oh Zunoshar has lost a lot of guns is a less than desirable position to be in as we close into friggin' knife fight range. I mean, really compared to real life battleships, the starting distance is knife fight range, but for this tournament, knife fight range, where they're so close that missing is, I mean, it's honestly kind of impressive if you manage to miss in this range without water skipping, without water skipping. If it water skips, that's you know. There's only so much you can do about that. Ooh, this turret has been completely disabled. Almost blown off completely. Anyway, point is, is it's harder to miss than to hit at this range. <laughs> Yeah, this Vimlo Shark getting most of its guns crippled before we reached this stage of the battle is... Well, it's it's not going well for it. Let's... <laughs> and New Hampshire is up to 99% HP right now. <clears throat> Both ships very low on materials, though. here 
broadside the crap out of one another. This is always my favorite thing to see, the two sip ships just sitting beside each other, blowing the crap out of one another. Yeah, it looks like every single barrel on the New Hampshire is still functional. It hasn't lost a single gun. Oh, that one's have a bit, having a bit of a... It's like the, like the, uh... The barrel had a cramp, it's like, eh! <laughs> You can see those shells are getting in pretty deep on the Zinoshar before they detonate. They're detonating pretty much on the center line of the ship. Yeah, see, you can, if we can sit in here, we'll be able to see one of those shells hit somewhere. Yeah, see, pretty much right in the middle of the ship, that fusing... The, uh, it's pretty much perfect when it hits the outer hull to just do maximum damage to the Zinhoshar. Those... New Hampshire is not going to get a perfect score for this round, though. It has run out of materials, and oh, I thought all the Zinoshar's guns were offline, but uh, there's apparently a couple up here still, or, well, were. Not so much anymore, I don't think. But yeah, 98% the New Hampshire's at. All the materials used, and that is a 2 damage Zinoshar. Right, so that's the end of round one. That's 98 for the New Hampshire, nothing for the Zinoshar. Oh, will you go away, Backblaze? <laughs> it keeps popping up multiple times a day telling me about how there's a problem with my billing. It's like, yeah, it's called I canceled it. But I just haven't gone through and actually taken out the program because I'm lazy. Anyway, here we go, round two. With that initial volley almost connecting with the Zinoshar, that volley is going to hit right in the back of that gun. That turret took a shot straight to the back of the head. That pretty much couldn't have been more well aimed. I don't think there's any single shot that early on that could have done as much damage to a weapon system as that just did. And that gun is probably never going to come back online. Oh, and this gun just got smashed too. Two barrels are out. What about the other two? Uh, they're dead too. Wow, the Zinoshar has lost two entire turrets out of the three that it has in the first 45 seconds of the match. That's, uh, that's what you call an uh-oh. <laughs> it's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Hampshire taking some uh, hits to the armor belt, it looked like there. A little bit higher, a little bit into the armor belt, a little bit into the superstructure. The Zvinoshar shells are not going as deep or doing as much as the New Hampshire's guns are doing. And this should be a bow hit right here. Those almost over-penetrated. I mean, those blew a pretty sizable hole in the bow. Not gonna lie. But it was also the bow, which is... usually one of the most flimsy armored parts of the ship. New Hampshire has burnt through
through a lot of its materials. It must have taken gun damage and repaired it at some point. To be that far, like that much lower in materials than this Venvoshar is. Well, this front turret is just taking hit after hit after hit. off but like as many hits as they're taking and none of them have fallen off of the Zenoshar. But they do get disabled pretty easily by the New Hampshire's guns. Like it seems like as soon as a single shell makes contact with the Zenoshar's turret cap, like anywhere on the cap it just loses guns. Shar has lost. Yep, it, it is down to zero guns again, and has decided to try for a ram instead. And Hampshire is, well, it was maneuvering to avoid. Now it's kind of like, oh, now it's just teasing. <laughs> New Hampshire's just teasing it. Uh, 1600 materials left and no guns there's not really a whole lot the Zunoshar can do to affect the battle from this point on it's basically just waiting until the New Hampshire kills it off is what the rest of this battle is going to be hey always with the barking Quiet all day, I start recording a video. Bark, 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 bark! Zinvoshar is too damaged again. Oh, and what was I said about the turrets not falling off? This one actually fell off this time. <laughs> anyway, 98.6 for the New Hampshire. Pretty much the same score it got before. This is not looking good for the Zinvoshar. At this point, I think even if it's if it managed to sink. to sink the uh, New Hampshire in this round. I don't know that it'd be enough. Getting completely sank twice is kind of bad for your score. <laughs> Just a little bit. Anyway, third and final round here. Last chance for the to step up and do something. 
Otherwise, it's just going to be taken down. I won't even get a chance to go to the vote. Well, the rear gun survived the first volley this time. Oh, well, but the second volley... Didn't quite get it. Oh, well. Wow. That perfect shot just went straight in through the deck right there. <laughs> and that turret is disabled. Well, the gun is aiming again. It may have just been out of its firing arc, but uh, yeah, those those. Those damage systems aren't firing on anything. Oh, that shot barely missed. Bruno Shar taking some more hits to its superstructure. Fine, doesn't even doesn't even have barrel damage on any of its guns. Well, I say that. Then the barbette takes a, some couple of direct hits, but it held. I mean, that looks like it's a solid brick of metal, so. Uh, yeah, that's going to do a pretty good job of protecting. It almost wasn't enough, though. There's all, probably only like a meter or two of... There was probably only like a meter or two of armor left. And the Zinoshar's guns didn't get through. Ooh, that's a pretty big hole chunked into this. Shards out of materials. And it looks like it's down to one turret again. This gun right here. Only thing operating. So I'm sure there's a volley on the way to kill it right now because I said something. Oh no, because I called it out, it's the it's not gonna happen. Now that gun will survive to the end of the battle because I said that. <laughs> or will it now die because I said it'll survive to the end of the battle? Oh, well, there, that turret just popped off. Yep, that's the entire turret gone. I mean, the Zuno Shark does have this gun up here that's still functional, but, uh... 
Your forward most mounted gun doesn't work so well when you're pointing your ass at the enemy. Zeno starts making a run for it. It's like, you know, I've had enough. I'm done. I'm out of here. She's like, nah, I'm gonna take out all your propellers and then your engines. You aren't going anywhere. The Noshar is too damaged again. Yeah, I think all three rounds ended right around the 4 minutes 30 seconds mark. So the New Hampshire is nothing if not consistent. <laughs> so 93-9 for the New Hampshire. Nothing again for the Zinoshar. Yeah, there's no coming back from that. So uh, the New Hampshire is the victor of this match. And we'll be moving on to the next round. Alright, well, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.